Yo, what's going on guys? It's a boy Howie as a heel team and welcome to another YouTube video here today. So today I'll I'll be explaining why my 2.6k Twitter got suspended. So pretty much so it might be a bit of a long video, um, but it's just gonna be I'm gonna be talking about what happened, why it led to my suspension and why I think it's not fair that I was the one who had to lose their account and the people that you know responsible for making me saying stuff I did didn't get theirs accounts suspended so anyway so pretty much what happened so all, all of 2017 I was made fun of just because of my appearance and because of my disability that I have um like so pretty much how it all started was I would upload a photo of me from the gym or wherever and then someone would you know like make fun of how I look or like you know my ears how they stick out and all all the stuff and how I talk weird and all that sort of stuff. Um so pretty much what happened is I obviously you guys would have seen it all. I got really, really uh defensive, um, you know, started, you know, saying really stupid really stupid shit and I shouldn't have said but it but I you know Fair about that, um, but yeah, anyway, so um, besides that, so I pretty much went through all of 2017 being bullied and made fun of, and God knows what other else, other things that you know were said to me. But I had a really shit year last year, and um, the fact that I had to finish my year losing my main account, which I worked so hard for. Um, just really, really annoyed me and made me feel very frustrated and angry. Um, yeah, but anyway, so, um, there's many, many people who are responsible for, um, no, all the bullying and all that. I'm not going to go into names because, you know, I've just forgotten about it. But anyway, so, um, this one, one particular person um who's at I can't remember his Twitter name but pretty much what happened he was I posted a video of me at the at the gym or I think it was just a photo or anyway it was a photo of me and he said oh why are you why are you at the gym you look like a retard and then everyone else who was no obviously no on my side jumped in and started defending me or whatever but Besides that, I went full on ape shit and like said the most messed up stuff that you have ever seen. Um, but anyway, so one of the messages that I sent to this guy, well, I don't even know how old he is or who, he, yeah, anyway, so he said something to me in direct, direct messages that was very, very offensive and hurtful. Anyway, I come back saying, say that to me in real life and I break every fucking bone in your body. Obviously, that's not, no, the best thing to say. Um, obviously, no, that is a vi vi violation of the Twitter rules because, no, you're, um, you know, promoting violence and or sending threats. But besides that, I was going through a whole lot of shit the ho last year. And that particular day, it, it was just not my day. I was being, another day where I was being made fun of and I just couldn't take it. I, I didn't know how to react. Obviously, the best way I could have reacted was obviously just to ignore him and block him. But I didn't. What do I do? I say a completely stupid thing that gets me banned for, you know, I don't know for how long, but I'm pretty sure I've, already, I've lost my account, so to start all over again which is annoying so it took me two bloody years to get to 2.6k followers i know like i did i did i did get some followers from the memes because people felt bad for me like all of the mind freak guys and tainted minds guys who follow me they followed me because they felt bad for me they saw all the shit i was going through and i said mate ignore these haters there is no jealous you know that they're not you know Killing at the gym and you no know, succeeding in life that you are. Like, hearing that stuff made me feel better. But the fact that, you know, 
Like, I worked so hard to get to where I was. I was doing so well. And now I'm just back to day one. And now I'm going to have to hit the grind even harder to come back and to get back to where I was. It's just extremely frustrating for me because, you no. Know, like, I, I am serious about what I say on Twitter. Like, not the bad stuff, but the good stuff. So when I say rise and grind and, you know, all the stuff that I want to achieve, I mean it. And if you're going to you know, sit behind your computer or your phone and talk shit about me, then screw you, you know. You don't deserve to be on Twitter. You know, if you're going to be talking shit, making fun of people like me because of their disability and appearance, then screw you. I don't give shit about your stupid opinion. You need to... You need to... Respect and accept pe- people for who they are. You know, everyone isn't the same, you know. The world would be boring if everyone was the same. Everyone is different. Everyone, you know, looks different. Everyone has their different opinions, their beliefs, you know, all that sort of stuff. And if you're going to go ahead and sh- you know, make them feel like shit, like what happened to me, you know, I don't know. I honestly feel sorry for your parents, if you know. For raising a selfish and arrogant, you know, idiot like you. But to sit behind the monitor or the t- phone or whatever. And talk shit about someone the fact I haven't done anything wrong. It's just stupid. Anyway, besides the point. Um, I'm going to be working really hard for you to, to gain back what I lost. Um, if you would you know, like to help me. Please follow me on my new account. I will link it down below um, in the description. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it's just frustrating, man. Like, yes, like the stuff I, some of the stuff you saw I said on my main account wasn't right, but I had the right to defend myself from all of the memes and all of the bullshit I had to go through. Like, if I didn't. If I didn't know, get, no, made fun of and all that, all of this stupid shit wouldn't have happened. No, I wouldn't have lost my account. I would have, you know, been, I would have been on the list. Maybe 2.7k followers now. I would have been, you know, I would have been happy. I would have, you know, no. Like one thing I miss, I miss all the notifications from, you know, my account. I miss seeing, you know, all of my followers, you know, Saying how, you know, like, how, you know, inspirational I am and all that sort of stuff. But now I can't because I've got a 175 follower Twitter that barely gets any freaking mentions and shit. It's just frustrating. And then people are like, and then people say, oh, why do you have two scuffs? Like, well, one, I already explained why I have two. One, my good old mate Tiger bought me one for Christmas. And two... The one I got from my mum, I already knew I was getting. The one I got from Tiger, I didn't know I was getting. So if you're going to say, oh, well, you don't need two scuffs, shut up. I don't have loads of money like some of you people do. Like, I don't, you know, sit at home all day and play video games. Like, have a job. You know, I work four days a week, but I don't get to access all of the money I earn because my mum manages my money. Besides the point, that's completely in the orbit of the video. I just wanted to just get back to what I was doing. I want to, I want to get my followers back. For all the people saying that I bought followers, it's complete bullshit. I didn't buy anything. I earned all of my follow, followers legitimately. If you're going to say that I that I bought it, then don't even don't even bother talking to me on Twitter. Just keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling. Don't bother talking to me. I will ignore you. I'll ignore you and I will block you. Simple. I don't need any more bullshit. I've been through enough bullshit my whole entire life. To go through what I had to go through last year was just not fair. It was stupid. It was not needed. I didn't deserve it. Besides the point. Hope you guys have a good day. If you if you do Hope you guys have a good day. Um if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Feel free to leave your opinions down below what you thought of all the shit that happened. And if you were one of my followers who witnessed all of this stuff I went through, feel f- please let me know what your opinions 
uh, in the comments and please follow me on my new Twitter. It really means a lot to me. If I could, you know, at least get back to 1k by the end of this year. That is my dream. Let's get back to 1k and I can at least get somewhere. But right, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as I said before, smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Um, make sure you turn on my notifications so you don't miss any videos because I know that's probably why I don't get a lot of views because most of you probably don't get notifications. So please turn on the notifications. You know, they're working so hard and I'm, I'm getting nowhere. Like, I've been stuck on same amount of stuff with YouTube for what four months, five months, and I, I know I didn't upload for like two or one week. But that was because I was away on holiday and I didn't have any Wi-Fi and I couldn't upload anything. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys have a good day. This is a good boy, Howie. As about peace.